Hey everybody, Neil Winner right here with Matterhorn Business Development. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing good today. I am joined, as always, with Dr. Greg Winteregg, CEO, author. That's your cue to pick up your book. There we go. <laughs> We're getting this down. We're still noobs here. So <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. Uh, we like to talk about all sorts of things business related, sales, money, all sorts of great things. So today we're gonna to be talking about uh, co-working spaces and if they're right for you, what we've been noticing as we've actually moved into a co-working space here in Clearwater called The Ring, which is a beautiful place. And we've been teaching an old dog new tricks over here. <laughs> because- uh, It's hard. Co-working spaces was kind of a new concept, wasn't it? It was a new concept. A little yeah. different from 1981 yeah. in Plymouth, Indiana. With a little bit different when I have my own place and I can do anything I want. Now I have to learn how to cohabitate. And you know, in grade school, I didn't necessarily always get the best marks for plays well with others. I don't either, but I fit right in here somehow. His were much lower than mine, I would just like to say. <laughs> so we're at Matterhorn, we're a small company. There's three of us. Um, you've met my sister, Abby, in some of the other videos, the two of us. And so we didn't need a big environment to work out of. Mm -hmm. And so we started looking for what was known as executive suites or executive offices. Right. It was kind of hard to find one of those, like essentially where we are, there's some in Tampa. So it was hard to find a place that really suited our needs. And then this new place called The Ring opened up here in Clearwater mm -hmm. and now there's a lot of talk about we work or the we company I think it's called yeah you'll be seeing that in the news this is a co-working some sort of a tech space it's it's kind of fuzzy as to what they do exactly but beautiful co-working environments this place is worth I think the we work is gonna be going public they're worth like 47 billion dollars holy smokes they're, they're international worldwide. Yeah, yeah they're worldwide and really I think they're a, a more of a uh, uh, a real estate company, if you think about it, just buying up all this real estate. Right. But now that we're here, and I've actually been, we've only been here a couple weeks full time, you'll notice right. we've been filming here for a little while with our backdrop, but we actually moved in officially to our space. And I think co-working spaces are just perfect for modern companies. Well, it's interesting because prior to this place opening up, we were looking for our own place, and it was gonna be a full lease. I don't, don't remember exactly how many square feet it was, just right next door here, 2000 or something but i'm yeah. looking at having to buy a conference table and desks and we had to have a financial and, and investment and computer the whole thing and so then we went into um an executive suite kind of a space and that yep. was nice uh, for like thousand bucks a month. We had an office and a boardroom and all that, but the place you're gonna see here, we're gonna throw some B-roll in on top of this, yeah. is beautiful. So I think this is, a, this is a coming trend, and we mentioned this in a couple of videos where Neil found the article when we were talking about the $15 an hour minimum wage. 89% of the businesses in the United States have fewer than 20 employees. Yeah. So this type of a setup is definitely hot, uh, it's definitely, definitely appropriate, and we have much more than we could have ever yeah. like purchased equipment for. We have five. We have access to five boardrooms, a meeting space that we can do forty. The tables are 40 people. And These green. chairs are seven hundred bucks a piece. Yeah. So I want to encourage people to to consider this as an option and look around. And as we were looking, there were definitely some that were much nicer than others. There were definitely some that were cheaper, but the amenities kind of like affect the rate yeah. that you're going to pay. I think for a small business, some of the options that they're gonna get is, um, you know, for a little while when we started Matterhorn, I was kind of working out of my kitchen table. Yeah. Which was fine because you're at home. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'd been home all day. Yeah. And I didn't, I needed to get out, but I didn't have anywhere to go because I had food. You know, like, right. it's like, okay, I guess I'll just walk around for 20 minutes. Like, <laughs> it's actually great to get out of your house, mm -hmm. work around other people. Yep. Uh, you get a mailbox. Yeah. All your hand, everything's taken care of. You can get packages delivered. And, and here at the ring, $99 a month. You get access to the boardroom, there's a kitchen, you're around other people. Now, for 99 bucks, you have a chair and a, a big desk where you yeah. work with other people. But still, I highly recommend getting out of the house. Um, you don't, don't get distracted by, I don't know, checking the news or watching yeah. ESPN for 20 minutes. Plus, you get to network and connect yeah, with exactly. so many people. I mean, since we've been here, we've met a couple of accountants, yeah. an attorney. Um, there's an Amazon company that sells bed sheets. Mm -hmm. But, the, you know, this is a great opportunity for people to get out, meet people. Yeah. And depending on the amenities that you have, I mean, like I said, we get our desks, our chairs, yeah. our office equipment, your copying, your business yeah. rooms. 
Um, and a lot of these places really want to do anything they can to bring people in. Yep. So it's a great way to get out and kind of like talk and meet to new people. And this WeWork thing or this We Company, it's really interesting that they're going worldwide and mm -hmm. worth tens of billions of dollars off yep. of the concept of just having a place for people to work. Yeah. Now, they're very nice. <laughs> it's not just a desk and a table. Right. But for $500 a month or $1,000 a month, what you get in return, we could never have never. for the investment renting these type, a space. These types of amenities. These types of amenities just on day one. Yeah. And if we decide to end our lease on a month to month, and go somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, the lease is just month to month. We're not locked in for three years, five years, like you, have you would so in much a normal. Flexibility. The, like you would in a normal lease. If you get an opportunity yep. for your company to move or go to a different place or expand, you're not like, oh, well, I gotta wait six months till my lease is up, right? Or, or, or pay all of these for three years. fees, or yeah. you know, when you had your dental practice, um, five you, years, you, you were locked in. Five years. Yeah, the strip mall emptied out. There was my office, 100,000 square feet empty, and a laundromat, and I had 12 years left on my lease. I thought you I was were stuck. a great deal when I signed this. Yeah. <laughs> the rent can't go up for 15 years. Well, little did I know. Now, anyway. Obviously, we don't have dental offices and co-working <laughs> spaces. Right, That'd be but weird, still, but it, it's a matter, uh, you should really check it out, is yeah. the point of the if video. If you work for yourself, yep. if you have a small company, yep. this type of an environment is perfect for you. Yeah, unless, and it also makes you feel more official. Yeah. And you're going into a very nice space. When you have an, when you have people coming in to meet you, yeah, you look like a, a company, a real company. Yeah, it's yeah. not like and oh, there's activity. And let's meet at the Panera Bread because <laughs> it's nicer than my kitchen. Or the Starbucks. Yeah, <laughs> nobody meets at Starbucks. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, meet at Black Rifle Coffee. There we go. <laughs> now, if we had one of those here, that would be where our office. That, that would, would be, be our co-working space. I just don't have that option right now. <laughs> um, but I think this is a great opportunity for new businesses. Yeah, and I think it's not just a trend. You know. Uh, the executive suite thing never really took off fully, mm -hmm. but co-working environments, yep. all that, this is perfect for small companies with probably 10 or less employees that don't have like an inventory or a stock. I really don't think that there's a downside to something like this. Not You're that not I can limited. See. If you get too big too fast, you can move out month to month. Exactly. You can get your own space. Or there. in many of these co-working spaces, they have bigger offices like here. There's a four chair, we have a three desk, there's yeah. a four desk, a five desk, and I don't know. And this other one over here was I think 10 or 12. Yeah, something like that. So, so it's very flexible, so we highly recommend it as a business model to follow. I think it's a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of new people. Yep. Our place here at The Ring, there's uh, social gathering events, there's yoga, there was the stretch lab was here last week doing stretching. Yep. And, you know, there's kombucha tastings <laughs> and it's on tap. I mean, it's about a health environment yep. and it's good to get out for, for your mental health to actually interact with people. Absolutely. And if you're stuck in your house, yep. you're not communicating with real life people, you're just looking at emails, your morale goes down yeah. and you know. You seem like you're on an island. He, and you are, yeah. you, you really are. So yeah. I think that this is a great opportunity for a lot of people. We wanted to give our thoughts because we've been officially here for only a couple of weeks now and I, I just can't imagine yeah. working anywhere it's else awesome. right now. It's awesome. So if you are in the Tampa Bay, Clearwater area, check out the ring, come swing by our offices and say hello, this is where we're third at. Third floor. Yeah, we're on the third floor here. But look at other environments in your area and see if maybe by just working out of your house, you are limiting yourself a little bit yep. or what's right for you and exactly. interacting with people is always a good thing to do. So yeah. that's kind of our take on things. I really can't think of any negative reason. None. And I am learning how better to get along with others. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying, but it's, <laughs> just kidding. A bit of a hopeless case. <laughs> they love me here. I've been bringing people in every week. We have somebody from the TBBW magazine here. Yeah. I mean, this is a great opportunity. So anyway, uh, if you're new here, subscribe. Leave your comments below. If you uh, have any interaction with WeWork or the We Company, yeah. it's new to me. I've never been to one of their places. They're opening up two new ones in Tampa. I yeah, if you've been there, out, make a comment. We'd like to hear. They're not open yet, so yeah. I haven't been able to see it in yeah. our area. And uh, also, if you are a business professional and you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, send me a message, say that you saw me on YouTube and I'll accept the request and we can actually connect and uh, use LinkedIn good. for business purposes. So yeah. thank you all very much. We'll see you next week.